Okay, first video of 2024 is for those of you who have been on holiday and have got a sore lower back in the morning. Super common thing, thought very appropriate because it actually happened to me when I was on holiday and I'll show you what I went through. And this is for people when they wake up in the morning and this is, this is remember, this is not a disc pain problem. This is just a stiff lower back problem. Usually it's from sleeping in different beds or not stretching enough or not exercising enough. But when you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed and you bend forward and it's really tight, like this is a muscular tightness feeling, it sort of goes from your lower back almost into your hips, maybe it's in the back of your legs feel very tight, but you find that you know, reaching forward to do your shoelaces, that sort of thing, sitting on the toilet in the morning is really still, you feel like you want to stretch it out, those sort of people then what I suggest you do is start doing some stretches in the morning to start the mobility going. It's probably because you've been doing a little bit less exercise than you've previously been doing. Not enough core work is a big factor. So obviously when you do all these stretches, make sure you restart all your core work. But today we're going to go through each one in order. So you can start off like doing sort of the harder stretch at the end and start off with the easiest one so you slowly wind into it. So let's get straight into it. The first one of what I do when you get out of bed, is go straight on the floor. Now, if you find that you want to do this in bed, that's totally fine, do it in bed. I would go as your number one easiest thing to do is lumbar rotation. But when you're in bed, it's sometimes hard to keep your shoulder down. So if you can get on the floor, what I would do, if you're going to stretch out the left-hand side of your lower because you one at a time, you put your hand under something. So you might need to go somewhere near something where you can sort of rest your hand under just to keep your sort of up body down. Because if you're very stiff, when you rotate your leg, what happens is this shoulder tends to come up and you don't really rotate. So I suggest what you do, if you're really tight, put that hand under there. So you take one leg over. When you take it over, this stays down. And you're, you're pretty fine. At first thing in the morning, you go, oh my God, that's tight already. You can already feel it from lower back through the buttocks. That's where you should be feeling it. Probably some of you will feel it mostly in the buttock if the buttock is tight on the back. But you're trying to get this knee closer and closer to the floor over about a minute so i would try and do one minute one way stretching that right out okay remember the first round of stretches is going to be the worst they're going to be really hard then you do it the other way okay another minute going that way all right and you can either try and do three sets of that or just move on to the next stretch so you could start off doing one set of each stretch and then go through that three times some people like that otherwise you do it three sets of each stretch and then keep moving on. Okay, so once you've done your lumbar rotation, then what I'd do is move into your glutes. Okay, so then you'd go straight into this, get into this position, use this. This could be the edge of your bed. It could be a sofa, it could be a wall, it could be anything. The easiest way to do this is just go close enough that when you put your foot on the wall like that, you push up, put that leg over top and rest down. And that, if you like that, that'll give you a stretch. So this left leg's over, that'll give you a stretch on your buttock on the left-hand side straight away. Just be careful that if you go too close, what's going to happen is it's going to round your bum off the ground. You need to keep your bum on the ground and arch your lower back. And you're not actively arched because you might be feeling a bit too tight there, but you want to be able to find that you can get a little bit of curve in here. Because if you flatten that out, you will instantly feel that buttock not stretch. If you posteriorly tilt your pelvis, you'll feel it more, okay? So just be at the right position away from that. So you don't even have to, you don't have to do this. You find people, they can't even get this far, okay? So don't worry about trying to hold your knee. Just rest it on something and let it go. Okay, then it's much easier to rest. Remember, this is first thing in the morning. You're gonna be super tight. So the easiest thing is the best for you, all right? So again, you might do one leg, one minute, rest the other way. You'll notice where the difference is left and right. Okay, so you maybe work on the tighter side a little bit more. And again, choose where you do three sets of that or just one set and then move on again. Once you've done that one, then switch to a thoracic one. So you've done sort of a lower back, you've done glutes, then move up into thoracic. What I would do for thoracic is do a book opener one. Now this way you start off on your side again. This is pretty easy to do in bed as well. Keep your knees 90 degrees, the knees have got to stay down. If you've got a partner, maybe they can hold your knees down. But you're going to go from here and get thoracic rotation. Like a lot of people, especially me, find that the tightness was in my lower back glutes and thoracic. Sort of went all the way up the chain. So when you do your thoracic, aim for rotation. Okay, so you're going to go this way. Slowly get sort of your left shoulder blade. If you're going this way, left shoulder blade on the ground. Head on the ground. 
then you've got to think my right shoulder is going to slowly, slowly, slowly get all the way over, creeping over here. And then once I've got to that point, you'll probably find you're quite tight at that point. It's going to stretch out a bit of pec. It's going to rotate your thoracic. As you breathe out for a minute, I'm trying to slowly get my right shoulder slowly close to the ground every breath out. So when I take a breath out, I'm trying to relax the shoulder to the ground. If I aim for that, I'm going to get the rotation in my back that I need. Okay, so your book opener gives you a slow one minute rotation on one side, then you do a slow minute rotation to the other side. That takes care of some thoracic work. Because, hey, when you're first in the morning, getting on a foam roller is just too much. Okay, especially if you're a bit kyphotic, it's just too much. Go for the rotation first. Remember, this is, these stitches are about what's the best thing for you to do first thing in the morning when you're really stiff. Aim for this first, it's the biggest bang for your buck. Then you go into child's pose, which is going to combine a bit of opening up and deflection of your lower back, opening up the hips and the hip flexion, so it's combining hips and lower back now, plus you get a bit of thrust extension. So now we're really talking. So with your child's pose, what I like to do for this sort of scenario, knees wide, almost like as wide as the mat, as long as they're wider than your hips, that's the key. Don't forget about your feet. Some people have their feet together, but then they go sit on their heels. What I want you to do is see if you can have your feet as wide as your knees. So when you sit down, your bum's going to be between your feet. Now, as long as your knees can handle this, okay, as long as you've got the knee range, this will work for you. So what I want you to do is you start up up here, have your hands as far forward as you can, and then you drag your hands back. As you sit back, you drag back to about here. Hopefully you can still hear me here. I'm going to drop my, chin, my head down and rest my head on the floor and then try and just slowly let my bum sink into between my ankles like that. Now you're going to feel this through the hips, you're going to feel this through the knees. Just be careful you don't overload those two areas. But if you can get down in that position, you're going to open up your lower back a little bit and you're going to get your thoracic stretched out a bit more as well. So then you get a bit of that extension in your thoracic, a bit of flexion in your lower back. It's going to be great. Okay. Now, once you've got that point, then what you work on is the last phase. Now, you don't have to do these last two. If that's loosened you up enough, then great. Okay. That four stretches might be enough for you to keep going. But if you're specifically still really tight in your lower back, or you've got a history of being hyperlodotic, tight at flexors, tight in your lower back, then work on your QL stretch. Okay, now you've seen this a million times, but this will be like one of the hardest ones for you to do. You, if you're stiff in the morning, like and you can't bend forward, trying to get into this position is gonna be almost impossible. You need those four stretches to actually loosen you up enough to get to this point. Then you go in doing this sort of work, especially if you're like, if you say you are on holiday, and you're going out for a big long hike or walk that day, you need to make sure your lower back is loose enough for it. Okay, so doing the QL stretch like this, where you're, leg is out, you rotate away, so left hand side going that way, then you tilt right, aiming to get your ribs closer to your leg like that, and again working on that for a minute, three of those each side, whether you do one of those each side, then repeat the whole thing three times, again up to you, okay, but work on that both sides, okay, that hopefully will loosen you up to the point where you're feeling a whole lot better. If Here's the next one, number six. If you have neural tension as well, where that sort of tightness down the back legs, meaning when you go from here, you're like your lower back's now looser, but you get to here and you still feel tight through here, then you can add on one more. Because you should be loose enough that you feel like you can actually be in this position now. So what I would do, and this is one of my sort of little favorites to do, this helps you with your neural tension, your calves and your hamstrings into your lower back. I want you to grab both feet like that. So if you can get to this position, great. Keep your knees bent. What I want you to do is you point your toes and drop your head, okay? So as you point your toes, drop your head down until you feel all that tension through the back of your legs and through your spine, and then come back up. So it's like a type of flossing, if you like. If I have my toe like this and then pull down, it's too much. So I want to push forward and then come down with my chin and stretch my thoracic out, like right down through here, you'll feel this, and you'll feel this through here. So it's like, stretch on, stretch off. And as you come up, you look up. Okay, so it's almost, you can almost extend if you like. So then you come down into flexion, go into plantar flexion, go into cervical flexion, extend your feet, extend your back, extend your head. Okay, so it's pressure off, 
pressure on. So it's not a sustained stretch. This is working on mobility of some neural tissue through your spine, down into your legs. Really helps you with that tension down through the back. If you work on that, you'll probably find three rounds of that, doing like 10 reps, you'll probably find when you go forward, you're instantly loose through that. The whole thing feels better. So that's my little routine. You can do four or you can do six. But the reason of doing this is to try and loosen you up to get you know, obviously all your stiffness gone. But I recommend you follow that up with core work. It's either straight after or sometime during the day because probably the reason you are getting tight is a lack of core work. Okay, you're losing abdominal tone and strength from not exercising. Therefore, all your posterior chain starts tightening up. So don't forget that. Do your core work as well as your stretches. Hope that helps your sore lower back. See you next time.